Okay, today we're going to be synthesizing the uh, ruthenium semiconductor. Uh, the start materials are shown before, below. Ruthenium chloride, uh, bipyridyl, hypophosphorous acid, uh, sodium salt, and sodium tetrafluoroborate. In addition, we will be using uh, water uh, and ethanol for recrystallization. Our reaction vessel is a 100 milliliter uh, round bottom flask with a magnetic stir. Uh, first, I'm going to add most of my water in. I want to retain a little bit uh, behind to serve as a rinse since uh, some of my reagents are pretty uh, fairly powdery. So I'm going to pour most of that in and replace my liquid addition funnel with a powder funnel. Start the uh, magnetic stirrer, and I will first add my uh, ruthenium chloride. Sort of a nice fine powder. Stuff almost looks like graphite. And next, I will add the bipyridyl. Uh, what the bipyridyl is going to do is act as a ligand for my product complex. Okay. Oops. Good thing I got most of that in already. Let's see, sometimes I have to play around with the stir a little here to make sure that it's going at a good rate. Yeah, that looks good. And let's see, I'm going to start heating the batch up a bit and I will use the remaining water to rinse my powder addition funnel. little bit of unexpected surface tension there, but I think we can fiddle around with it to get that liquid in. There we go, just lift up a little. So we've got our uh, ruthenium and bipyridyl in there. I'm going to put the uh, reflux condenser on. And uh, next thing I'm going to do is add the uh, hypophosphorous acid through the top of the reflux condenser. You can see that running in. And I want you to note the color of the solution right now that it's that very black appearance. I'm not going to have the camera on for the full uh, period, but uh, once we get up to reflux, I'll turn it back on and you will see a bit of a difference there in the appearance of the solution. So this thing right now is just going to heat up to reflux, so I'm going to turn the camera off for now.